first met um, May of last year. We originally met online and our first date was at Stone Brewery in um, where was Liberty Station. Liberty Station, yes, Liberty Station. And we met at Stone Brewery and then we there were two seats open at the bar. We had a couple of beers and it was funny because they kept on bringing menus over or trying to deliver food to us. It was like, here's some uh, uh, hamburger. And we said, oh, we didn't order anything. And then we'd have a bartender come up and say, well, you guys want to order some food or something like that? Yeah, like two or three times. It was so awkward. <laughs> but it was funny because it happened at least, you know, two or three times right in a row. And we laughed a lot and shared a laugh on that. And it was just really easy to um, hang out with each other. And we had a great time. Yeah, we connected right away. It was a lot of laughing, a lot of banter. It was a perfect atmosphere too. It was really laid back and uh, it was like we fell into it, like we knew each other for such a long time. Yeah. I thought she was beautiful, obviously. I wanted to play it a little bit cool and uh, just be casual about it, but she was very beautiful. She had a great smile and, uh, you know, we perfect height and I think we matched really well and then uh, we just had such a great time talking to each other that I knew right away that I wanted to hang out with her um, soon and often. My first impression was I wasn't sure if he was that interested because he kind of gave me like a little side <laughs> hug and I'm pretty sure that body language experts would think <laughs> that means something but I get it now. He was a little nervous. Um, soon after that we completely, I don't know, it was like I've always known him. And the conversation flowed and he was so charming, so good looking and tall. And that was my first impression. Well, um, I think soon after we met, I had already I had this plan to go to Croatia for about 16 days. So we were, I think it was the night before I was gonna leave and we just, I mean, we naturally just flowed into being a couple, but without really officially becoming one. So we had that talk, I guess, is what I would say. And we just both knew and we that we didn't want to see anyone else and that the 16, 16 days is going to be the longest wait ever. <laughs> yeah. I think that was... Yeah, and when she was gone, you know, I, I definitely, even though we had just met and we'd only been out on a handful of dates, we knew, I knew that I wanted to hang out with her all the time and so really even though she was gone for that period of time it was important that um, when she got home we made sure that it was official. Yeah, yeah we were in contact the whole time like a few times a day. <laughs> well, I think it was in her apartment I think I said it uh, I would say stuff like I love the way that you do something or I love the way that this and that yeah. really it turned into, well, I absolutely actually love you. <laughs> and so it kind of morphed a little bit over time. Yes. I do remember feeling like we had always, for some reason, been in love or had said we loved each other because the way he would talk about it, just like, I love, you know, I love the way you do this and this is what I love about you. But without ever really saying, like, I love you for a little while until that time in my apartment. And that was... And for Suzette, it was last night. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> um, I, I knew almost right away, it's just a feeling that you have and it just felt like we, like everything he would ever say or a conversation, it would almost be like what my ideal conversation would be with like the love of my life. It was the weirdest thing and I never had expected it, but I almost knew very soon after meeting him. Yeah, it's definitely a feeling that we had and then, you know, we had a lot of the same um, things that we wanted out of a relationship and a partner and all of those things really aligned perfectly, you know, so it was not only the way that we felt about each other, but, you know, we were in the right place at the right time and we felt like it was, we, we were the two right people, so. Yeah. It was definitely perfect. Yeah. It was Timing and the right person definitely played a lot. Um, we had just moved in, I think it was February, like the first week of February. And 
um, it was a stressful move. It was like a 10 or 12 hour move and he just kept talking about this, his dirty clothes basket and to make sure to keep an eye on the dog food in a box that was in his dirty clothes <laughs> basket. And it was just a long night, but the very next morning it was just like this, this like sense of relief of just like, ah, oh, even though we had like a whole condo full of like boxes and stuff to put away, it was just kind of like this sense of complete relief, like we're... And I had hidden a safe, a small safe in my dirty laundry yeah, that's, that's and moved it myself, <laughs> so that's why I was paranoid about it. And inside the safe was the ring that I had bought her, so... Um, luckily, then we woke up the next morning and I was able to convince her with an idea to say, hey, let's go get a cup of coffee and a you know, breakfast sandwich and take a walk. And we went down to a park that's on the cliff uh, where we live in La Jolla. And I was waiting for the one person in the park to leave. And that guy, for some reason, was really enjoying the ocean and wouldn't leave. And then we, there were about 12 people yeah, walked around the corner yeah. <laughs> without dogs on leashes and it was pandemonium. So. I had the ring in my pocket and I said, let's take a walk down the uh, street. And so we found a bench at the end of Forward Street in Bird Rock that was right on the cliff and it was secluded and nobody was around. And uh, I asked her at the cliff right then. Yeah, I was nervous, of course. I, I think I just had like this huge grin and I don't know if I answered right away, but then he got right up off his knee to hug me. <laughs> so I don't think I ever officially answered, but of course. <laughs> Hi, honey. I just want to say I love you so much. Um, I'm so thankful for your love and to have found you in this lifetime. You're such a kind and loving soul that I couldn't have dreamt of a more perfect life partner than you. You're my best friend. You're my love of my life. And I'm so excited to start this journey with you. Um, I look forward to our ever-evolving and growing love through the years, from the greatest milestones to the everyday minutia of life and just when to take the salmon out of the oven or you know don't forget to take your vitamins every day it's just all going to be it's all going to be perfect um, I hope to one day soon start a family with you I really look forward to that to have a little human Daphne running around that'll be so perfect okay I love you and let's go celebrate with everyone Suzette, I'm so thankful that we have today together. I'm so thankful that you've agreed to marry me. And uh, you know, I love the way that we laugh together and we can just spend time together all the time and not ever want to be apart. And if the weekends together when we're both off from work is any indication of uh, how our life's going to be, then I'm so excited. And I can't wait for the next chapter in our lives and, and forever to, to just to be with you. Yeah, we just want to thank everybody for coming, uh, especially those people that came from far away, our friends and family that traveled to be here with us and to share in this special day with us. And I want to thank my family, you know, coming from Michigan and my parents for their assistance and helping us out um, in some of the planning. And um, I want to thank Dave too for being there efficient for our wedding. I want to thank you again, all our friends and family. Thank you, Mom, for your love and support and everyone in the bridal party um, for all of your love and support and help and through this whole process. It's quite a process, so <laughs> we really appreciate it. And we especially thank um, Scott and Sarah. They're so generous to open up their home to let us have our dream wedding there. I couldn't have thought of a better place to have it. And thankfully, <laughs> they um, were so kind to accept accept us. <laughs>